the fuel feed at this site kept blocking, so the installer automatically blamed dusty pellets. When we started extracting the pellets, they were clean as a whistle. By the time we got to the bottom, they were still clean as a whistle. The black object next to the driver's foot is one of the suction points. Nevertheless, as the pellets were flowing out, they backed up against a horizontal bar across the store, and faces of pure fines would appear sporadically. The average fines content in the load was minimal, but segregation was producing concentrations of fines on the face of the pellets. It is these concentrations on the face of the pellets in half-empty stores that are so popular to photograph when installers are having problems with the system and don't know enough about bulk solids handling to work out the real problem. There were actually two problems at the site. There were a handful of overlength pellets in the load. These could bridge across the suction points and prevent the pellets from flowing. And the suction pipes went up and down and round the houses. The installer was no more familiar with the concept of pressure drops and their causes than he was with the concept of segregation. Just because you can see dust, it doesn't mean you've got dusty pellets. Only analysis of a representative sample for the whole load can establish that.